Hey guys, welcome back to Lab Cyber. Hope you're doing well. So in today's video, I will be discussing with you a particular career that's becoming very, very popular in cybersecurity, and that is bug hunting. Now, if you're not familiar with what happened last week, Pauline Network, a crypto platform, actually got hacked by a single person and he ended up stealing over $610 million. Now, it turns out that he wasn't all that interested in the money, so he returned all the money back. He hacked Poly Network to prove to them that there was a vulnerability on the platform, and as a reward, Poly Network actually offered him $500,000 just for discovering that vulnerability. So this incident has made a lot of people become aware about this career, which is called bug hunting. And so in today's video, I will be discussing with you what exactly bug hunting is, how to get started, the skills that you need, and whether or not bug hunting is a career that's meant for you. So first things first, what exactly is bug hunting? Well, it's basically the scenario where a company advertises to the public on the internet saying, hey, look, we have a platform, we have a software, we have a product, look for vulnerabilities, and if you're able to find them, we will pay you as a reward. It might sound similar to pen testing, and that's because it is kind of similar, because in pen testing as well, you're also looking for vulnerabilities, right? However, the approach is very different. See, in pen testing, what happens is the company that wants to be pen tested, they will either hire another company offering pen testing services, or if they know a specialist that they trust, they will hire them to come and pen test them. With bug hunting, it's different. In bug hunting, the company that wants to be tested makes it public. They basically go on the internet saying, hey, hackers out there, if you're interested, try to find vulnerabilities on our platform, and if you're able to find them, we'll pay you for that. Also, another key difference between pen testing and bug hunting is that pen testing is a bit more robust. It's not just about the pen testers looking for vulnerabilities on the company's application or software. It could also involve them trying to crack passwords, trying to you know, break into their network and so on. But in bug hunting, it's a lot more specific. It's basically a hacker looking for a very specific kind of vulnerability in a specific product. So it's a lot more streamlined or niche, if you will, than pen testing. Now you could also refer to bug hunting as the freelance career on the cybersecurity because unlike other careers, you don't need to have a boss, you don't need to work for a company, you can bug test or look for bugs at your own convenience, you can sit at home in your basement or wherever you like to work from, find those bugs for the company, report those bugs, get paid, and you can do whatever you want. You can travel around the world. And it's also lucrative. In fact, many big companies nowadays will pay you just for finding vulnerabilities like Netflix, Facebook. Google, Google in fact, currently has a bug bounty program where they will pay you upwards of $30,000 if you're able to find any kind of vulnerabilities in any of the products, whether it's YouTube, Gmail, Google Maps, and so on. So you can see that bug hunting has plenty of advantages. You can bug hunt at your own free time, travel around the world, and get paid really, really well. But is bug hunting meant for you? And I'm asking this question because bug hunting isn't all that, isn't all just, you know, roses and chocolate, right? There are some disadvantages in bug hunting. One of the key disadvantages of bug hunting is that it can be very, very frustrating. Imagine you spending days or hours, days, weeks, looking for a vulnerability on a platform and you end up not succeeding. It can be very, very frustrating. And in fact, many successful bug hunters have been interviewed and there is this saying about wasted time that I refer to. And what that means is that there are times when you would actually be successful in finding a vulnerability on a platform, but when you try to report that vulnerability, you end up discovering that another hacker only maybe a few hours or a few days ago found that same vulnerability as, and has already reported that vulnerability. And even though you were the second person to report the vulnerability, you're not gonna get paid because you were the second, somebody else has already reported the vulnerability and they've been paid. So bug hunting can be very, very frustrating, but also keep in mind that it requires plenty of patience and discipline. So here's the thing. If you're trying to bug hunt on a particular platform, look for vulnerabilities on a particular platform, let's say Netflix as an example, right? You need to have a thorough understanding of how Netflix works. How are people able to create accounts on Netflix? How are they able to pay for subscriptions? How are they able to log in? How does Netflix upload movies on the platform? 
you need to have a thorough understanding of what happens behind the scenes. So this may require you reading plenty of documentation. And like I said, it takes a lot of effort, time, patience, and discipline. And not to mention that it can be very, very, very frustrating. So you need to ask yourself, am I the kind of person who enjoys looking for vulnerabilities and weaknesses? Okay, if that's the case, then bug hunting could be for you. In fact, if you're somebody who is currently an ethical hacker or a pen tester, or even if you're not, if those kinds of careers appeal to you, that bug hunting could be for you as well. However, if you're somebody kind of like me who isn't really that big of a fan of the technical aspects of cybersecurity, then bug hunting is definitely not going to be meant for you. I would highly recommend uh, you check out another career. All right, so let's assume now that you want to be a bug hunter, you like looking for vulnerabilities, how do you get started? What skills do you need? Well, first things first is you need to have a thorough, deep understanding of web technologies. I'm talking about how websites work. I'm talking about headers, protocols, cookies, databases, basically anything involving websites and web applications, you need to have a thorough understanding because most of the applications that you will be bug testing for are web based. Now you might have a question, what about programming? Do I need to be a programmer in order to become a successful bug hunter? Not necessarily, but it will definitely help. Now, if you're going to learn a programming language for bug hunting, I would highly recommend you check out JavaScript. And that's because many, many web applications actually do use JavaScript. It's also not that difficult to learn. So if there's any programming language to learn for bug hunting, it's definitely going to be JavaScript. I would also highly recommend that you check out two particular kinds of attacks, which are cross-site scripting as well as SQL injection attacks. These two are very, very popular against web applications. So if you have a thorough understanding of how these two kinds of attacks are carried out, how they're executed and how you can prevent them, this would also help you greatly as a bug hunter. Also check out the OWASP top 10. These are the top 10 most common vulnerabilities against web applications. If you are able to understand each and every one of them thoroughly, how to execute them, that would of course also greatly help you as a bug hunter. Let me also mention that with bug hunting, you never stop learning. In fact, in cybersecurity in general, you never stop learning because there are new technologies, things are evolving all the time. So if you're gonna be a successful bug hunter, you need to learn as much as you can and you must never stop learning. I should not forget to mention that any kind of course or any book that teaches you about ethical hacking or pen testing will of course also help you as a bug hunter because at the end of the day, whether it's bug hunting, pen testing, or ethical hacking, they're all focused on looking for vulnerabilities on platforms, software, hardware. So whatever skills that you can learn from a pen testing class or an ethical hacking class will definitely help you as a bug hunter. Now, if we're talking about specific tools to learn how to use, there are many of them, but the two ones I'll recommend will be Burp Suite. Now, Burp Suite is actually a paid software. There is a community edition that's free, but it's not as feature rich as the paid version. And as a result, you will not be able to use the full power of Burp Suite unless you pay for it. But there is a free alternative, which is Zap. Zap is free. It is incredibly easy to use. And these are the two I would highly recommend that you learn how to use in order to become a successful bug hunter. Let's talk about websites for you to check out. And there are many of them I can recommend. The very first one here is going to be hackerone.com. I love this website because when you sign up for a free account with them, they will actually send you a free PDF book. This is the book right here. It's called uh, Web Hacking 101, How to Make Money Hacking Ethically. It's a few years old, but it's still very, very useful because it was written by a very successful bug hunter who analyzes about 30 of the vulnerabilities he was able to uncover. So right in here, you can see the examples for with like, you know, with Shopify. Here is the Shopify one as an example. So he reports, he gives you the date, uh, the kind of bug that he discovered, the description, and also how much he got paid. So it's basically kind of like a documentary of 30 of the vulnerabilities that he was able to discover. And it's a great book to read if you want to become a successful bug hunter. Now the thing about Hacker One is that when you sign up with them, you can log into your back end, and this is basically a sample of what you would see. You would have access to all the reports or bugs that you've been able to uncover. 
And you can also check out things like the job board where you can look for jobs in other companies or you know different kinds of jobs. There is also the activity that will give you access to some of the latest uh, vulnerabilities that have been discovered. You can see them right here. SQL injection in Agent Manager has been resolved. And you know you can read more about different kinds of vulnerabilities and bugs that have been uncovered. So definitely check out uh, hackerone.com. The next one here is going to be hackerone.com. Similar to Hacker One, except that here you actually have access to free resources, free lessons, free tutorials. I would highly recommend you check out their Getting Started page. They do have actually a free course on how to become a successful uh, bug hunter. So I would highly recommend you check it out. Also check out bugbountyforum.com. It is the best forum for bug hunters. Sign up for an account with them, join the forum, post your questions, learn from others, and share with others what you know as well. And last but not least, check out bogcrowd.com forward slash programs. In here, this is where you would find every single company currently offering uh, rewards for finding vulnerabilities on the platform. So right here, they actually do have the search bar. So just as an example, let me search for uh, Netflix just to show you. So I'm going to search for Netflix. And right here, you can see that Netflix does have the report, the bug bounty program right here. And it says basically that they will pay you uh, anywhere between $200 to $20,000 per, per vulnerability. They have the description, the details, and of course you can see so far 604 vulnerabilities have been recovered and the average payout so far has been $2,025. So this is a great website to find out all the latest bug bounty programs from some of your favorite companies. One last piece of advice I want to give is that if you currently have a job but you're interested in becoming a bug hunter, don't quit your job and jump into bug hunting full time. No, keep your current job. But whenever you're free, begin learning about bug hunting, start bug hunting part time. And eventually, once you feel like, like you've gotten enough experience, enough skills to become a full time bug hunter, then you can quit your job and become a full time bug hunter. Hunter. All right, so that's it for today's video on bug hunting and how to become a successful bug hunter. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, of course, put them down in the comment section below. If you know of anybody who might be interested in becoming a bug hunter, please do share this video with them. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, please do subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so that you don't notify whenever I upload a new tutorial. And uh, until next time, I'm Alex Tessif out there and I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.